I think we're going to talk a little more about what it means to be an artist and uh, what, what this whole thing is all about. I'm not going to go through any letters today. I think it's I think you need to find out a little more about what creativity is, how it works, um, how it works with an artist, and what's going on up in the brain. So let's use the chart. We're going to talk about creativity today. Okay. This is your brain, or a brain, let's just say it's a brain. There's an eye, there's an ear, a hand. Eyes to see, ears to hear, hand is to feel and touch. Okay. Out here comes an analog view, something outside that you see. Comes in analog, comes down here, gets to the brain. And this is a little digital box which changes that analog into digital. Okay. Same with the ear. The ear hears something, goes into the brain, goes down and gets turned in from analog to digital. Here's the hand. The hand feels something, touches something. Includes the whole body, but touch and feel. Comes into the brain as analog comes in the hand as analog, comes into the brain as analog, and it's changed to digital. Over here we have the brain's computer. Okay, the computer takes this dialog, this uh, uh, digital, all these digital messages that it gets from the eyes, the ears, and the touch, and it sends the information down here to the motor cortex, which in turn sends it to the body and the whole body moves and so you see something comes into the brain and while it's coming into the brain it's bombarded with all your experiences your knowledge your memory everything you have in your brain it gets everything you knew see new comes into the brain and gets bombarded with all of it. in other words if you look at something and you've seen it before your brain knows it so it tells that message as it's Heading to the to the digital box here, while it's still analog, it tells us that you've seen it before, you know what it is, and so on. So by the time it gets to the digital, it's full of information, uh, experience from your brain, from your past uh, uh, experiences, turned into digital and then sent over the computer, and so you can react. Same with the hear. Comes in, it's bombarded with all the stuff. Okay. So that's, that's basically what we're talking about here with the brain. Now, down here is another digital converter. And out here we have creative uh, creative force that's in the universe. It passes. It's like it's like um, um, let's see, uh, it would be like, um, let me put it up this, here's a radio broadcast station, here's a radio, the radio says signals, broadcast station says signals, the radio gets it, you turn on your radio and you can hear those signals, now if you look around your radio you don't see anything, you just see the radio, but you hear these voices coming out, that's because they're coming through the airwaves, from the broadcast station. Okay. It's like gravity. You don't see this, but you know it's there because the radio works when you turn it on. Okay. Well, that's the same here with this creative force that's in the universe. It's kind of like gravity. 
It's all over the place, but you don't see it. You only know it there because it actually enters your brain. And as it enters your brain as analog, everything is bombarded with all your experiences and it's turned into creative ideas that go into this box here. So there you have, a, um, you have what you see and hear and feel operating your body, but then you have this other creative force that's coming into your brain and going into this, the same thing is happening to it, it's getting bombarded with all your experiences and it's turned into digital ideas. That's what these are, these are just ideas. So, the path then we need to do is turn these ideas into some action down here, these creative forces. We have to first go through the computer. So, there's a, it shoots out the message, here's a, here's a great idea, it says. But see up here, there's a little police station, right here. And the police station is there to monitor and to direct traffic. And what happens when you get a good idea, this idea is in here and it tries to get into your computer to make your motor cortex start to respond to it. This little policeman up here, they put a stop there. They, they, they stop the traffic. They say, no, you can't go in there because you're not part of the big picture here, which is overrides everything else. I mean, if you hear a, a siren and a car coming, it's not going to take your ideas and put them in there so you can go build something. It's going to stop you and let this traffic go through so that your brain knows for, to tell your motor cortex to get out of the way. You follow that? You see what I'm getting at here? This is the whole process. Okay, so we've got then, we have these ideas, this, this creative force goes through the brains, gets bombarded with everything that you've experienced, that's what makes what you do different than somebody else, and it, they turn into ideas. The problem here is the ideas uh, don't have a long shelf life. If they're not in there, get used up, they just disappear. So you've got to use up these ideas. Now what stops these ideas? Part of the things that stop these things is like, let's say you were invited over to Aunt Martha's house. You go over there, she's talking and you're looking and you're feeling, and all these things Keep this, these policemen are blocking off all your ideas. You might be right in the middle of a nice flow of ideas, and then you go over to Martha's and she's telling you about her operation, and all that, the policeman there quick blocks your ideas so that all that stuff can come in. And that's the problem. That's what artists faced, is just being blocked. So, that's all we got for today. And I'm gonna come back next, come back next week and we'll talk more about this process and what it, how, to, how to overcome that and keep these ideas flowing. So in the meantime, go to my website.